So good everyone. My name is uh, Chief Joel Abram and I'm the elected chief of the United Nation Chief and Council. The reason I'm coming here to you today is to talk to you about the development of our lands and estates custom code. Why is elected council developing uh, lands and estates custom code? We are developing them because we need to address the backlog and tension around settling estates and establishing land title through the United Nation of the Thames administration. How will they affect the community? These custom codes will govern the administrative processes of the lands and estates sector and help protect the rights of all United people. The draft lands and estates custom code contains rules for transferring land title, for recognizing land ownership, for creating wills, for administrating wills, for settling estates, and for passing on land title if there is no will. Another important part of the custom code will be the matrimonial real property codes. The reason MRP codes are being developed is that Canada is going to force its MRP law upon us if we do not have a formally written MRP code established prior to December the 16th of this year. MRP is the property of a married or common law couple. It consists of the family or matrimonial home and the land on which it sits as well as any other lands that a couple owns together. MRP codes define how a property is dealt with in the event of a marital separation or breakdown. Elected Council needs community input on these codes so they can serve everyone's needs, values, and interests. How is a Oneida Elected Council seeking community input? We are doing it for, through two different ways. Uh, the first way is through a questionnaire package which you should have received at your household. If you can please uh, fill that out and get that back to the administration office, that would greatly benefit uh, us in our doing our MRP codes and, and those types of things. Um, also, there will be several engagement sessions happening in the month of March. We encourage you to attend as well as future initiatives yet to be determined. And these uh, initiatives are scheduled for March the 2nd, March the 16th, and March the 30th. So keep your eyes open for specifics on these important meetings. Thank you for listening and giving us support by filling out the survey and questionnaire and coming out to future engagement sessions. If you have any questions or concerns, you can bring them to the Administrator for the Department of Housing, Lands and Estates, Sherry Antone, or your Council Portfolio Holder, Levi Antone. Thank you very much and Nogiwa.